Okay. We're back at Beach Dittles. Grand Finals. Perfect Gazza vs. Jamron. Do you want to commentate? No. I'm gonna get food. Last time in this set, Jamron took it. Three, two. Yeah, I'm gonna get food. I saw water. Okay, so last set, Jamron took it three to two. Um. Oh, I got, I got Joel on commentary, so I'm not gonna hog the mic. I'm silly. So. Okay, so, anyways, last set Jermon took a three to two in winners. Um, he's shown that he's definitely the superior Peach. Obviously, you can see that with um, that nice upper kill. We figured out a few things about the Peach Ditto last time we watched it. First, that down throw dash attack is a combo. Um, we also know that back air walls are really good. Pulling turnips is kind of what gets you your openings in this matchup, and that Peach doesn't have a lot of kill options. So here, forward throw doesn't really get much. I would have preferred to see Jeremon do down throw, but as you can see, 50% is still really good. Like in the Peach title, the float footsies, if you can even call it that, are so key between these two players. Kubikaze made it all the way to grand finals with his Peach, because we all know that if he went cheek, he would body all of us. So he decided to challenge himself. Um, oh, Kubikaze misses the up air, and Jermon is taking us to the bank, like, 77%, he's looking for a kill, 84. <sighs> okay, so, yeah, finally, Kubikaze evens up the stocks, but, um, at what cost, 90% is kind of a huge deficit, but he's looking to bring it back. Wow, Clash of the Fairs, nice back air. Mm, oh, that was that a stitch? Oh my god, I, I'm pretty sure that was a stitch. Oh yeah, the last set, the loser's final, the uh, winner's final set ended with a bomb. So, that was kind of a hype way to end it. Um, Gibrikaze fighting his way back at 150%. He's kind of hard to kill, so he's looking for like a straight hit or a grab. Nice nair. The edge guard's kind of want you here. And you just kind of have turn ups and, and back air walls. Jamon gets a fourth throw, and that's a kill. Okay. Is there, is there an amateur bracket? Yeah, yeah there, there is. Going on right now. I wish I could enter. You nearly made it, but we decided that it wouldn't be fucking fair oh. to amateur bracket if it had 14 people. We should have we should have made it so that and if it had one of you, Brandon and Barry, we were like that's bullshit. We should have done it. We get it. It's okay. We should have done instead like anyone that, that wasn't top eight gets to be in the amateur bracket. Yeah, yeah. and they yeah. call yeah. it like intermediate bracket. Yeah, or something. yeah and then the amateur yeah. bracket. Was, was there? Was that would change it so that? much? Is there money for that? Uh, no. Okay. It's just a hidden prize, super prize. What is it? I'm not in it, so I can, I can It's probably it's Steven's money. Prize. It's probably these two, to be honest. Oh, yeah, is it Barks? Whose Barks is that? It's the... Hmm? It's mine! Who Isaiah? What place did I get? Third? But he refuses to see my messages. My is Grand? He hasn't even seen my messages. What he's responding to? He's so angry. Is this Grand? Yeah, this is Grand. So I got third. Yeah, you got third. Not bad. Who's winning? I don't know, it's Londanus and Chu. Okay. What do you think of the upper there? It looks good. It looks really good. There's lots of stuff. I like the Toronto Soccer Station up in the back. Four throw does not That's kill. That's actually just a bunch of running shit. <laughs> it's like, it looks technical. But yeah. It's good. Yeah. Isaiah would have really liked it. But he's so angry when you do things. He's not angry, you should. He is. He wants to my messages, but he responds to nice down smash. Tell me he's not mad at me. Let's go, Jam Run. He's totally yeah. down to come. I tell him there's that. I don't think he would not kids. come. I don't think he would not come because of the plug you said. Okay, last stock situation. This is kind of the tale of their uh, Peach Jittos. It's been last stock almost every single time. Tries to make him, bait him into jumping into down smash, but it doesn't work out. 40% on KK, but that's all tied up now. Oh, nice dash chance grab. We didn't, this, uh, didn't, we didn't go for down throw dash attack. This is game one. Yeah. Oh my I don't know if I can commentate like 10 games of this. Yeah, that was a lot. I was hoping for a more, a faster grand final. I mean like, not that this isn't like technical or fun to watch, it's just like hard to commentate over. Like this has already been five minutes. Hopefully the recording's thing Oh, that was a four there, I swear to god. Yep. Clearly top tier. Oh, in there. 
I'll bear. Wow, I'll bear. I think I'll be definitely killed there. Oh, but turnips are just. Let's go. Hit him again. I'll bear him right now. Oh! That was crazy. That was actually cool. I'm like a hype man. Look. <laughs> Who knew? I kind of saw it coming, but I, was, I would have been too scared to do it. I think oh, upper, I think up air just would have been. I think it just would have stopped a little bit earlier. Like, right, turn up there. Do it. Oh, oh, are you kidding? <laughs> it's a tradition. We have to do it at every UTSC event. Are you still I UTSC? Come huh? You're coming back next year, right? Yeah, every month match you got Are you? Yeah, I'm here for one semester. Like every money match you got Yeah, you beat me last time. No, I beat you in the final set one. Well. But didn't you money match me as well? I'm pretty sure we did a secondary move. Right? Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. No, no, no. I got can sell I don't, I, don't, I, I don't think I, I really can. Let's just do like $2. I don't, I spent all my change on it. I can split it. Well, you guys no, are actually You need to split me. it if you don't lose. What do you mean? <laughs> don't, don't assume. Place that's open. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Julian, I want to play you. Where the fuck is my controller? Where the fuck is my controller? Oh god, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Julian, I want to play you after. It's important this bag is here, it stops the uh, mic from making a boot drop. Oh, uh, okay. Don't. Uh, people being women don't know what to do. Uh, I think people have the Is that yours? No, no. Who's the one? 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 Really? Yeah. Okay, don't. Crazy shit happening right now. Grandma so up a stock and 125%. He's playing really well. I, I refuse to commentate this song. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What is it? Hey, come on. What's going on? Man? Huh. Yeah, hey, Julian. Julian, I accidentally made it big again. Jamron up another stock. It's really important that Kirby Kaze seals this out if he wants to keep himself inside of this. Last time in the winners finals, Jamron went up 2-0 and Kirby Kaze made, made Kirby Kaze made the comeback. So it's not 1-1. One -one. So Kirby Kaze does get this guy back, he does exactly what he needs to do to get himself back into this game. Jeremon had quarter pressure, but Kirby Kaze kind of fly his way out of the corner, which is really good for him. Oh, whoa, the mind read turn up into double jab grab. Down throw, doesn't get the dash attack, which is kind of odd. Okay. Ooh, nice spacing on the fair. Oh, down tilt is actually kind of a bait. It's kind of rough to do with like, it's kind of a really hard read to do down tilt in this matchup because Peach is always floating. So to expect her to approach on the ground is like pretty crazy. Jeremon kind of making the most of this opportunity and keeping Kirby Kaze in the corner. Down throw, forward throw. And with DI, even with good DI, that's a kill. So Jeremon up another stock. It's really important to see what he can do with this. Stuck in the corner right now. I'm gonna expect some sort of air dodge from Kirby Kaze keeping him there. 20% right now on trades. Wow, he just floats right through the turn of ball and makes it back on stage. He's off again. Oh my gosh, the ledge play is nuts. This is super tense. Okay, okay, so 34%. That's not too bad, but that's not insurmountable for Kirby Kaze. Um, yeah, let's see what they get. I think throwing the turn up's important. Kirby Kaze gets a turn of hit that doesn't confirm. Yeah, this is all very, very, very close. Oh, Randy forward smash. Oh, but then Randy down smash. They are... Okay, down throw, dash attack, right? Classic 1-2. 
So if he wins the next game, that will be the end of the tournament. Did we cause a counter pick soon? Oh! As she... Wow, so the sheet comes out. That's actually pretty crazy. I was expecting more um, Ishidos, but Jim, or uh, Kirbikaze has no one knows finally decided that... Oh, okay. Finally, de finally decided that uh, the gloves are coming off and he wants to win this tournament. He is at on the brink of elimination, and I think Jim Run has shown to him that I am proficient in the Peach Ditto and I'm the Master Pistol. It's good because this is okay. Let me show you how to really play this game. And he comes out with a massive stock lead and needles into grab. This is insanity. I think I would be willing to wager that if uh, Kirby Kaze makes a three, a th the reverse three zero comeback. Then he'll switch back to Peach for the next two games of of winner's set, but the second set. But um, it depends on how he's doing. So this is a completely new matchup. Yeah. We're shake Peach now. Um, that air dodge is not helping. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try and be a little bit more quiet. <coughs> That air job, uh, air job is kind of detrimental to German, but he can still clean up the stock and make a comeback. Peach has a lot of follow-ups on Sheik. They actually both kind of destroy each other, I think. Yeah, but, but I think it's a little bit hard for, for Sheik. I mean, no, for Peach. For Peach, yeah. Uh, with, uh, especially with long limbs of Sheik. He can really wall out. Yeah. If Kirby Kazi wanted to, he could wall out. Uh, like jam on out with back air, so she is really looking for yeah there are down some grab follow-ups. Okay. Um, sometimes off the certain DI that like he gets re-grabs at low percent. Right. But for a tilt on shield, not very safe, but like, not a big punish, so it's kind of okay. Down throw. Yeah, okay, it feels like everything is kind of guaranteed for him if he gets a grab. Right? Yeah, there's definitely like easy one-two combos that is good. And the position, the needles are so good at cutting off Peach's recovery. Oh, it just sneaks back on the ledge. Still, you have to take a stock so off of this. Didn't, he didn't keep the corner, he just kind of let him on. Up there? Oh, good try. That Nair was super unsafe, and Sheik has the speed and mobility to get out there and punish. Oh, okay, so, of course, it was one. Easy. Takes stock one from Kirbikaze, but this is already pretty crazy. Like, in a Peach Ditto, 123 is not a huge deal, but in this match, one fair will kill, especially with bad DI, so. Oh, no jump, but he recovers safe to, safely to ledge. He tries to go for needle grab, but... That turn is really helping him. Mm -hmm. Forward air, nice at their situation. Probably gonna want to grab ledge, roll up and punish. Oh, but he's a little late. That flow cancel there was really low and really fast, but unfortunately not fast enough. Oh. Yeah, fair is super safe on shield, so... Nice turn up. I mean, Kirby Kaze oh. doesn't have to do much right now, but it's bad news. Yeah, he's, he challenges play it safe, camp with needles, yeah. and, and like wall him out. Fourth throw will definitely kill. Really gonna kill. Unless, oh, oh, okay. unless you have the DI of the god, <laughs> that's yeah. totally different. Down smash? Okay, yeah, yeah. reverse yeah. there. Even the god can't live that. Yeah. Down smash probably would have led to like an opposite tech situation, or like the possibility of one, so I think Nair was definitely the correct choice. But these up air back air follow ups, like once Peach is up there and hits them, Sheik is so able to like to get all the. Oh no, if you recover low, you're, you're approaching needle territory. Nice down to oh. back air. Oh, okay. It's not what she could have done. I mean, like jump back air. Yeah, you probably. You don't even want to try and make Sheik up. Like, I would just go high because like there's no advantage to dipping back low. Sheik is so fast that she can re grab ledge or do another bear. Oh. Reads the reaction to the roll when it gets go. down to the and that's that's game three. So that's our first game for Kuber Kaze in his attempted three reverse 3 0. The counter pick is now on is Jerem Run's turn. So winners or Grands? This is Grands on set one. Uh, Jerem Run is in winners. I should probably put that in, right? Like Jerem Run, like yeah, W. Is it really 2 1? Have the games been going so slow? Uh, yes, because the first games were each of those. Yeah. 
Hello, where's the other one? No, you just have to save. I know, but where's... Oh, you lost other... Okay, file. You must be hitting, like, control W or something. Yeah, open file. Right. And then... Just cancel. File. Open file. And then I believe it's... Yeah, right right name. No, right name. Okay. Don't worry about the other bracket. I think Sublime handles it. Yeah. Okay. Because Sublime is technically the card. Okay, so, uh, wow, I looked away and Kirby Kaze took two stocks and only took 35%. That's actually crazy. That's not so good. Um, okay, so what does Kirby Kaze have? He's got his down throw, re grabs. That's actually crazy. I feel like now that we've moved to like a smaller stage, like that's not FD, um, Kirby Kaze can apply a lot more pressure on the Peach. Like, I feel like right now, she is, is like kind of suffocating Peach right now. Like, she's not just getting the space to pull turn ups or to like dash dance, anything like that. Like, she's kind of forced to float near the stage in the corner. And these back air walls just like this is the biggest opening. Oh, that was a stitch. Wow. That was a really close opportunity to like turn the game around big time. But yeah. And another back air. Up a higher low. You know, it just kind of goes right into, right into the legs. Yeah. Again. I wonder if Jammer loses this game, will he re pick back to the stage or will he go to Dreamland where Peach has even more survivability? Um, this should be a kill. Yeah, down smash is a good option there. Still living. In there? Oh, reverse there. Even better. Um, Oh yeah, and that bear will definitely end it. So first stock he takes it, but the same as last game, he's got a three to one stock lead, and oh, he yeah, can just re grab off of that. Yeah, and he gets upper back air, and that's like a guaranteed 40, 50 percent, depending on how many re grabs he gets. Oh wow, that's okay, a that was beautiful good. down tilt. The real expert in this matchup is Armada. He like destroys his brother all the time in this matchup, and like when you watch them play, it makes it makes like Sheik look unplayable. <laughs> and then you come here to like a different level and yeah. she gets like destroying yeah. Realistically, again, yeah. in other situations. Yeah, melee so cool, so many levels. In other news, uh, okay. Jeremy's, Jeremy's <laughs> taking another stock, so he's kind of fighting back, but again, with this corner pressure, oh, he went for the Dynasty. I think he can go for it again, depending on the DI of this down throw. No, that'll just be a fair, and that's game. So yeah, I don't think he could have done anything about that. Yeah, I think DI in any direction was bad for him. Like, there was... If he DI'd into the stage, it would have been uh, Tech Chase up smash. Um, so it's 2 2, and he does indeed decide to take him to Dreamland, which, um, you know, is, oh, he powers through the defense, <laughs> which uh, definitely gives him like the opportunity to live for longer, where as Sheik, like, although she can like, have good DI to live, like, her recovery will never go as far as Peaches, so, you know, that's advantageous, but this has to first get her into those extra situations, which that was really tricky there for a minute. Oh, he missed the floor cancel. Should be fine. Sorry, I'm pausing. Yeah. Down throw up air maybe? No, there you go. Just the floor here. I think up air would have been the best idea, but the DI was too good. She's just kind of dancing around the center stage and he can't really do anything about it. Not high enough to present the forward throw off stage, but this could be big. Nice reverse. Here comes the flow chart. Yeah, it's kind of the rinse oh, repeat. Okay. He tricks him and Kirby Kaze tricks him by going to the ledge. He gets the umbrella hit, so he gets back on stage for free. Interesting. And that, like, good for Jamron for not like rolling out of the corner. Kirby Kaze was sharking for it. But, um, Jermon's, okay. Yeah, Jermon's still in the corner, so down throw fair is really gonna. Let's see what's happening is in that situation, uh, Kirby Kaze is just fishing for grabs and Jermon's not really doing anything about it. Yeah. He doesn't really have the space to dash away, and then when he floats up to get away, right. so it has uh, not enough time. Yeah, he gets chased with like an aerial or something, so it's really tough. So like, <laughs> oh my like, goodness. goodness. Please. Oh, alright. This, he has to convert this. This is kind of do or die right here. Oh okay, my gosh. Always guess is right on that. Yeah. Oh, nice double okay. turn for a Oh, see, again, in the corner, he just abuses his invincibility and uh, takes stage completely. Yeah. 
It's crazy after seeing Jeremy play so many times and like seeing him play so many people and watching him control the stage. It's, it's right. crazy to watch like the next level of like yeah, player. to have things turn turn around. On yeah, him. like he's the one having a hard time. He's usually so good at it, but Kirby is making it impossible. So, he's got to float back, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Just roll oh. up is enough. Wait, what? He actually uh, got up too early. Oh wow, I didn't even realize. That umbrella. Yeah, it's crazy. There. Oh, trades with fair, but see, this is this is the advantage of the counter pick. Like he lived that fair from across the stage. Um, Except he's just not being careful in recovery. Mm -hmm. See, uh, he floats up and Kirby because he sneaks under with a fair and like he just like spots him right in the air and then when he's not on the ground, he puts him on the ground and gets a grab. It's a really, really good play. Oh, puts the jump. Puts a repeat. Nice reverse now. He's got to guess again. Oh. Gets the ledge for free, but tournament winner and the stock. It's definitely an even game. Wait, wait to see a reset, I think. Ooh, it could happen. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, actually, narrowly avoided that was really close, yeah. Oh, but the needles are really good. Kirby okay. Kaze didn't hit that second needle. That second set of needles would have made a huge difference because at that point, Kirby Kaze would have been able to like, grab ledge or something. Right. So, thank you for your Oh, okay, good time. Peach can still do this. Peach can come back and like, because she's gonna live for like another 50, 60 percent. Right. So she can she come has back. A lead, she can stop. Mm -hmm. It's about halfway through the game at this point, time wise, and both there, both uh, players are playing very careful. So it's another there. that Peach is gonna live. Another there. While he's here, he's gonna make the most of his time. So is that for a third? Yeah. Oh, the down air was an interesting choice, but nice air to chill. Okay. So share. Okay, good DI. Here because you can make this back. Oh, the over 100% get up. <laughs> I think it was a little slow for Jeremy on the punish. Nice slide off there. Uh, this is dead even at this point. Yeah, I mean, throughout the whole tournament, a lot of mistakes that I've seen is just like you know being fast to, to get the, you know whatever you're trying to go for. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Jeremy does end up feeling a stock, but so does Kirby Kaze. So last star. Game 5, set 1. Are we going to see a bracket reset? Most of it will be determined in the next... Well, we'll know. We'll know, we'll know. In, we'll know in about in under 3 minutes. Jabs are really good after flow cancel. But he's in the corner again, and Kirby Kaz is making... Oh, he fights out! That was really good. Nice, nice tech chase. Oh, that spot dodge was just a little too fast. Now he's getting up airs. He can get another one. Oh, wow, goes for reverse there. Oh, in the corner again. That was like strong, strong hit of bear. He just respected him. He kind of didn't even go for a shoot. Bro. Yeah. Down throw up there. No, he goes for the fair. Oh my gosh, so close. That is that that line that blast shield is a black reset. But Jermon wants to. Oh wow. He can close it out right now. Okay, he's got him off stage. Oh, oh that could have been it. Now, Nair sends him the wrong way. Wow. He just needs one fair. But this is probably going to be it. So yeah, that will be reset. bracket reset. Brandon, you may want to speak up to make sure that my catch is. It's like super, super fucking like low volume.